Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to another Bite Size History episode on History with Audrey D. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a side note on the origins of the graduation ceremony. Now, this is a ceremony that's celebrated around the world. And the reason why I am doing this right now is because as I am recording this video, it is currently graduation season. Uh, at the end of April and throughout the month of May and beginning of June, we have a number of high school and college graduates that are taking next steps into their futures. Uh, I am wearing my graduation outfit from my master's degree that I got from USF just a couple years ago. And I'm wearing this because it is very important and hey, who really gets to wear their cap and gown more than a couple times? Again, this is something that is celebrated around the world, but not everyone knows where we get some of our traditions from. And that's what we're going to focus on in today's lesson. Now, if you are enjoying History with Audrey D, please make sure that you are hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, you can hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new lesson. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon as History with Audrey D. Let's go ahead and get into our lesson on the origins of the graduation ceremony. Let's take a look at where some of the symbolism comes from in the graduation ceremony and why we have specific traditions about it. Graduations have been dated back to the 12th century CE and have a variety of traditions that date back to ancient cultures such as the Celts and their Druidic priests. A link to the ancient Celts is that Druid priests were the only members of society allowed to wear hoods. These hoods were and still are linked to having obtained great knowledge. 800 years ago, universities became the first organizations to hold graduation ceremonies. At this time, Latin was the language used by scholars. Caps and gowns have also been worn during graduation since the 13th and 14th century. These gowns were used to symbolize religious status as well as scholarship. There are a few universities, including Oxford and Cambridge, who still require their professors to wear their gowns in the classroom to represent their level of education. In university, the design of the gown also changes with the level of degree being received. Bachelor's gowns have pointed sleeves and no hood. Masters of Arts gowns have long closed sleeves with arm slits and a narrow hood, while doctoral gowns have bell-shaped sleeves and a draped wide hood. The placing of the hood onto the doctoral graduate is also part of the ceremony. But what about those tassels? Well, for high schooling bachelor's degrees, the tassel is worn on the right of the cap and moved to the left after receiving the diploma or degree. As in my 2020 graduate photo, the tassel for a master's degree remains on the left-hand side from beginning to end of the graduation ceremony. The music that plays during the graduation ceremony as graduates make their entry is titled Land of Hope and Glory. It was written in 1901 by Sir Edward Elgar. The second title given to this song is Pump and Circumstance, which comes from Shakespeare's Othello. Last but not least, we have the tradition of the valedictorian and salutatorian. The valedictorian is the graduate with the highest academic standing, also known as the highest GPA. While the salutatorian is the student or graduate with the second highest GPA or academic standing. It is tradition in most schools that each of these students makes a brief speech about their experience in school and creating inspiration of goals for their classmates and their vision for the future. All right, there you have it, the symbolism of the graduation ceremony. Now, I hope that you better understand where we get our origins for graduation from and why it is such a specific and special experience for so many people around the globe. If you did enjoy this lesson, please make sure you are hitting the like and subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I have a new lesson out. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon as History with Audrey D. 
If you have any questions or comments about the origins of the graduation ceremony, or if you have the origin story for history that you would like for me to cover in a later episode, please make sure you put those in the comment section below, and I will do my best to get to them as soon as possible. For all of my students who are graduating this year and past graduates, as well as those who will graduate in the future, I wish you a very happy congratulations. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you in our next lesson.